Mirrors are there when we are and yet they never give anything back to us but our own image. Never, never shall we know what they are when they are alone or what is behind them. Every little bean must be heard as well as seen. We have our dreams because without them we could not bear the truth. Never do anything complicated when something simple will serve as well. It's one of the most important secrets of living. Life did not intend to make us perfect. Whoever is perfect belongs in a museum. Strange how complicated we can make things just to avoid showing what we feel. Anything you can settle with money is cheap. To forget is the secret of eternal youth. One grows old only through memory. There's much too little forgetting. Modesty and conscientiousness receive their reward only in novels. In life they are exploited and then shoved aside. It's only terrible to have nothing to wait for. We are forlorn like children, and experienced like old men, we are crude and sorrowful and superficial, I believe we are lost. Keep things at arm's length. If you let anything come too near you want to hold on to it. And there is nothing a man can hold on to. Good or ill, life is life, you only realize that when you have to risk it. We have so much to say, and we shall never say it. We were all at once terribly alone, and alone we must see it through. For a moment I had a strange intuition that just this, and in a real, profound sense, is life, and perhaps happiness even, love with a mixture of sadness, reverence, and silent knowledge. But probably that's the way of the world, when we have finally learned something we're too old to apply it, and so it goes, wave after wave, generation after generation. No one learns anything at all from anyone else. I did not want to think so much about her. I wanted to take her as an unexpected, delightful gift, that had come and would go again, nothing more. I meant not to give room to the thought that it could ever be more. I knew too well that all love has the desire for eternity and that therein lies its eternal torment. Nothing lasts. Nothing. I want to think and at the same time that's the last thing in the world I want to do. Courage is the fairest adornment of youth. The music enchanted the air. It was like the south wind, like a warm night, like swelling sails beneath the stars, completely and utterly unreal, it made everything spacious and colorful, the dark stream of life seemed pulsing in it, there were no burdens anymore, no limits, there existed only glory and melody and love, so that one simply could not realize that, at the same time as this music was, outside there ruled poverty and torment and despair. Our knowledge of life is limited to death. What comfort there is in the skin of someone you love. I wandered through the streets thinking of all the things I might have said and might have done had I been other than I was. I am young, I am twenty years old, yet I know nothing of life, but despair, death, fear, and fatuous superficiality cast over an abyss of sorrow. I see how peoples are set against one another, and in silence, unknowingly, foolishly, obediently, innocently slay one another. The things men did or felt they had to do. No soldier outlives a thousand chances. But every soldier believes in chance and trusts his luck. This book is to be neither an accusation nor a confession, and least of all an adventure, for death is not an adventure to those who stand face to face with it. 
it will try simply to tell of a generation of men who, even though they may have escaped shells, were destroyed by the war. But that's what mankind is like, they only prize what they no longer possess. We want to live at any price, so, we cannot burden ourselves with feelings which, though they might be ornamental enough in peacetime, would be out of place here. We are not youth any longer. We don't want to take the world by storm. We are fleeing. We fly from ourselves. From our life. We were 18 and had begun to love life and the world, and we had to shoot it to pieces. A hospital alone shows what war is. Nothing is the mirror in which you see the world. Heaven has no favorites. We are little flames poorly sheltered by frail walls against the storm of dissolution and madness, in which we flicker and sometimes almost go out, we creep in upon ourselves and with big eyes stare into the night, and thus we wait for morning. Am I jealous? He thought, astonished. Jealous of the chance object to which she has attached herself? Jealous of something that does not concern me? One can be jealous of a love that has turned away, but not of that to which it has turned. It was a melancholy secret that reality can arouse desires but never satisfy them. No soldier outlives a thousand chances. We were 18 and had begun to love life and the world, and we had to shoot it to pieces. My rage outweighs my shame, as always happens when one is really ashamed and knows he ought to be. The wisest were just the poor and simple people. They knew the war to be a misfortune, whereas those who were better off, and should have been able to see more clearly what the consequences would be, were beside themselves with joy. The idea of authority, which they represented, was associated in our minds with a greater insight and a more humane wisdom. The war has ruined us for everything. I want that quiet rapture again. I want to feel the same powerful, nameless surge that I used to feel when I turned to my books. The breath of desire that then arose from the colored backs of the books, shall fill me again, melt the heavy, dead lump of lead that lies somewhere in me and waken again the impatience of the future, the quick joy in the world of thought, it shall bring back again the lost eagerness of my youth. I sit and wait. The miracle has passed me by, it has touched but not changed me, I still have the same name and I know I will probably bear it until the end of my days, I am no phoenix, resurrection is not for me, I have tried to fly but I am tumbling like a dazzled, awkward rooster back to earth, back behind the barbed wires. We march up, moody or good-tempered soldiers, we reach the zone where the front begins and become on the instant human animals. Our thoughts are clay, they are molded with the changes of the days, when we are resting, they are good, under fire, they are dead. Fields of craters within and without. I had the feeling of slipping down a smooth bottomless pit. It had nothing to do with Breuer and the people, it had nothing to do with Pat even. It was the melancholy secret that reality can arouse desires but never satisfy them, that love begins with a human being but does not end in him, and that everything can be there, a human being, love, happiness, life, and that yet in some terrible way it is always too little and grows ever less the more it seems. Kat Ksinski says it is all to do with education, it softens the brain. I, too, am going to go away soon, she says, I am weary and weary of my weariness. Everything is beginning to be a little empty and full of leave taking and melancholy and waiting. Suddenly I become filled with a consuming impatience to be gone. 
little by little things began to assume a new aspect. The sense of insecurity vanished, words came of themselves, I was no longer so painfully conscious of everything I said. I drank on and felt the great soft wave approach and embrace me, the dark hour began to fill with pictures and stealthily the noiseless procession of dreams appeared again superimposed on the dreary, grey landscape of existence. I felt the first soft glow of intoxication that makes the blood warmer and spreads an illusion of adventure over uncertainty. I am no longer a shuddering speck of existence, alone in the darkness, I belong to them and they to me, we all share the same fear and the same life. I could bury my face in them, in these voices, these words that have saved me and will stand by me. Trenches, hospitals, the common grave there are no other possibilities. It's all rot that they put in the war news about the good humor of the troops, how they are arranging dances almost before they are out of the front line. We don't act like that because we are in a good humor, we are in a good humor because otherwise we should go to pieces. That is the remarkable thing about drinking, it brings people together so quickly, but between night and morning it sets an interval again of years. Let the months and years come, they can take nothing from me, they can take nothing more. I am so alone, and so without hope that I can confront them without fear. The life that has borne me through these years is still in my hands and my eyes. Whether I have subdued it, I know not. But so long as it is there it will seek its own way out, heedless of the will that is within me. All Quiet on the Western Front, Chapter 12 which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.